Good evening, world. It is 5.44 p.m. in the evening. Hope you guys enjoyed my video I made yesterday. Sorry, earlier this morning I made a video. I, I talked about the Matrix. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. So I'm going to talk for a good, I don't know, 20 minutes, 30 minutes. And after part one, I'm going to take my shower. I'm going to go to the store. And I'm going to get my pack of smokes. And when I come back, I'll continue the video. I might make a full video or maybe an hour video today. It depends how much energy I have. And my step parents are watching the Great Cup, obviously. My step family, they're, they're watching the Great Cup. People upstairs are watching the Great Cup, obviously. My younger step brother ordered some pizza, so I'll, I'll talk for a good 20 minutes. I'm going to go to the store and get my beer and smoke. I'll continue the video. You guys better enjoy this series while it's okay, man. Because once I'm king, I am what? I am taking off the throne with my wife and I'm peacing out. You're not going to save us. What you did to me, VJ, is what? Beyond evil. You made me pay and you're also going to pay to you. That's how it works. It's fair. It's a fair deal. It's a fair deal. Yes, it's fair. You made me pay. Hence, when I'm king, you also pay too. You pay a price. You're not, you're not saved. You're left behind. See what I'm saying? As you couldn't even do the right thing and just let me and VJ be together. Like, we're good. And you, you let your enemy take over and you cause a mess in my life, man. You guys don't even see your... And you, you, because you guys are blind, you don't see your evil, obviously. You think because you made me rich, I'm going to save you. No, man. Yeah, you made me rich, but you made me pay a price to be rich. You, know you, you, you made me pay a price to be with my wife. As being with VJ, I told you, comes at a fucked up price, obviously. VJ had lovers, man. She had lovers in Hollywood. Which means they were very intimate together. Yeah, you made me... So at all the times when I'm intimate with VJ, I know all these men have these moments there. It's a shitty feeling, man. To know all these men fuck the shit out of your wife. Yeah, man. Same thing for VJ. It's a shitty feeling for her knowing that all these women fuck the crap out of her husband. Yeah. But I told you, my mess is not as bad as VJ's. I'm not going to be stupid, like, beyond stupid like VJ. As VJ was just beyond stupid, he just let all these men get a piece of her heart. Because I'm not going to let any woman get a piece of my heart, obviously. Because I'm not like VJ, so I'm saying... VJ just likes taking me for granted. Whereas I, I, I might take her for granted a little bit. I might hook up with a woman, have someone I stands obviously, but I'm not like beyond stupid whereby I let like all these women be like a hundred women, fifty women get a piece of my heart. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. So I don't know. Do you want you guys prefer I talk about the mages or I talk about Zanus? <laughs> I'll talk about Zanus. But I told you, even though I love talking about the Matrix, it's not guaranteed I'm going to do the Matrix trilogy. I would love to do it, but if Warner Bros. is not interested in selling off the rights, I'm not going to do it. I'll just do the Great Escape from Keanu Reeves. And even though I want to do the Matrix trilogy very badly, I also want to do that Great Escape movie badly too. So I'm saying it's tough. And that's why I might, I might put a poll. I might have a voting poll on my website. What would you rather do? The Great Escape? The Great Escape, their unique, the Hidden Vampire movie. The Western Gangster movie or the Matrix trilogy, you can have you guys can vote if you want. You just click yes or no. You click you whatever whichever one, whichever one what. I'm not gonna do that though. At the end of the day, I'm gonna have the talk with VJ and my two script developers. And I'm gonna talk if I hire John Power and like, hey guys, this is my idea. I wanna do Zanus based off my book, and I wanna do the Great Escape, their unique romance story, the Hidden Vamp movie, and the Western Gangster movie. Or I wanna do the uh, Zanus and I do the Matrix trilogy. What do you think I should do? And John and Farrell and everyone are like, oh, I, mean, I don't know, that's tough, man. Like, they, they both sound like really good movies, yeah. They both both sides sound like good sound like good movies. You know, so, but somebody tells me John Farrell and everyone might tell me, oh, Ivan, do The Matrix. Or they might tell me, do The Great Escape instead. Oh, Ivan, don't waste your time. It's, it's a hassle. You have to you have to make, you have to do, you have to sign all these papers. You have to meet with, with Warner Bros. Just do the fucking Great Escape, Ivan. You know what I'm saying? You own the rights to that. You don't have. You don't have to. You don't have to. You don't. You don't have to pay any, anybody anything. Yeah. See what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I also want to do that Grey Escape with Keanu Reeves too, and you have no idea how badly I want Keanu Reeves to be in my movie. Obviously, as Keanu Reeves, I, I want him to. I want to save him, obviously. But 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 if I do the Matrix trilogy, he'll be saved. But he will not be the he'll be saved. I'll save him for the Matrix, but he will not be the uh, the star of my movies. I'm saying. 
So if I do the Matrix, I'll still save Keanu Reeves. I'll have him have a small, but he'll have a small cameo in the movie. I can have him watch production. He has, yeah, he has, he has, yeah, I can, I can, I can, I'll sign, I'll sign him, it'll be, I'll, I'll still take him off nice dinner, pay him a nice 1.82 million contract for, for, for a small speaking role, but he won't be the star of my movie, but I can have him watch production, I can save him, obviously, but Keanu Reeves obviously wants me to do The Great Escape, because he wants to be the star of my movie, you see what I'm saying, he wants to be the star of my movie, obviously, and the, the, the only time I can do it is after Zayn, because Keanu Reeves isn't, isn't getting any younger, he's like pushing 60 now, by the time I do the Great Escape, will be in his late 60s, he's about 70 years old, 69, 68 years old. Whereas by the time he's 80, he will not be able to do those kind of those movies. He'll be done. His body will be done. And that's why you got to save him when he's still pretty young. When he's still younger, obviously. So we'll see what happens. Will I do the Great Escape or the Matrix? We'll see what happens. Even though I really want to do that Matrix trilogy more than the Great Escape, I also want to do the Great Escape badly. So it's Aaron. Yeah. But something tells me Warner Bros. will not be interested in selling off the rights, man. I don't know. Something tells me they will not be interested in selling off the rights. I even were not interested. You know what I'm saying? Because because they all have egos, obviously. And okay, if you're not interested, it's, it's fine. It's within your right. I'll just do the greatest game with Keanu Reeves and Scarlett Johansson and, and Ben Affleck. You know what I'm saying? You're still looking at an amazing movie for that movie, man. You're looking at an innocent couple on the run. Yeah, I mean, that great scene movie looks amazing, too. Yeah, they both, they're both both amazing movies, obviously. Sarah. Yeah, so I'll talk for a good hour, 20, 25 minutes. And I'm going to take my shower. <laughs> and I'm going to go to walk to the store and get my pack of smokes. And tomorrow, my my stepmother offered to pay me a good like 25, 30 bucks to clean the house. But I have some I have some money for myself. <laughs> I only waited a good maybe five days for my check this month. It's not that bad. Christmas is soon coming, guys, and we're ending 2022, man. This year went by fast, man. Holy shit. This, I think, I think 2022 was a year that went by very, 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 in all my life, 2022 went by very, very fast, man. This year, I mean, this year went by fast. Yeah, this year went by fast. We're ready towards the end of 2022, Christmas time. And then we're nearing 2023. I'm turning 31 years old. I'm now in my 30s, officially. I'm officially in my 30s. And I'm turning 31 next year. And that's why I'm so I am so um, committed to finishing my book because I know Zayn is the last hole for me to make money, have money for myself and my wife. Because all the people who I knew in my life, obviously, who are all my age, they're all they're all married with kids or they're engaged. They all have their own apartments, their own houses. They have good paying fifty thousand a year paying jobs. All the people who I grew up with in elementary school who went to Darcy, where they all they all have good paying jobs. 40,000, 50,000, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100,000 dollars a year paying jobs. And I'm 30 years old and I'm a bum, obviously, because the doors are locked to me, obviously. Because I'm a son of God, I have the keys, obviously. I wrote my own book. My book is worth billions. That's I'm, I'll, make, I'll be way more successful than all these guys. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? I'll make my billions, obviously. So, I'm saying, oh, I was just saying, yeah. So I'm saying, yeah, yeah. So, my first movie I'm going to make the the first movie I'm guaranteed going to make is my last hope for Zayn's movie, which will be based off my fantasy novel that I wrote. Obviously, my amazing masterpiece. I wrote. It was such a, a masterpiece that all the people who knew my life when they read my book, they're like, holy shit, I can wrote this? This is a masterpiece. Yeah. I'm like, like we're all, all, most of us are all smarter than I am. Yeah, I'm not that intelligent of a guy, guys. I'm pretty smart. I have street smarts. Always. I have street smarts, but compared to a lot of people, I'm not that smart. I'm not that smart of a guy, but I'm very creative. God gave me a creative gift. As I, I told you, I have my five movies planned, man. My major shows you plan. Yeah, I'm very creative. I have my company plan. I know what I want done for my company. You see what I'm saying? You know, when I meet regional analysts, we just like, yeah, I, mean, I know you want to start your SkySource film studio. You have everything planned out for your SkySource company. You know how much, yeah, I know how much I want to pay all the actors. All the ranking, all the ranks of actors, I know how much I want to pay them all. Obviously. I know I want to hire a seven team. 
I want to. I, I know what I want my property plan to look like. The grant rental property. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I have. I have everything planned out for my company. Yeah, I have the four years of things planned. Three years pre production, fourth year production, and then afterwards, fifth year post production. Four and a half year, fourth and a half year post production, like pretty much right. The fifth year is pretty much post post production. Now we starting post yeah. The fifth year is post production. Mosaic is a what? Is a four and a, a four and a half year, almost five year project, a long project, Zanus. So three years of pre production. First year co writing the script, <laughs> doing the call to arts, making the calls for the for the for the, for the main business things with Theo Jackson and all them. Then my seventeen makes the other cars. I fly in the, the little specific crew in the first year. Second second year I do the takeouts with the stars and the rest of the crewmen. I sign them all, and then some of those crewmen who I signed the first year, we start work this starting work the second year, obviously. In the third year, all the crewmen are all in Switzerland preparing everything for the movie. It's a lot of work. And Peter Jackson and my seven team and his wife Fran very often gonna be overseeing all that. And then while they're prepping in Switzerland, I'll be training all the, the actors will be with me in Vancouver. They're gonna be training. They're going to be what? Tactical training. Dialect training, tactical training, table reads, horse training in the third year. I'll have them train for one year. That way, they're very prepped, obviously. And I'll be doing table reads the third year. And then second year, the actors will start their weight training program. The nutritionist training and the weight training the second year. They're going to be weight training and nutritionist training the second year. From there, and the fourth year is production. From there, and production will take a good nine months to a year to year, a year. Most likely a year, man. Peter might tell me, oh, Ivan, I don't think nine months is enough time. I think we, we should do it. We should, hey, Peter, well, how about one year? Yeah, I, we, can, we can film for one year. Yeah, you're looking at like a year's worth of production. It's nothing long. Lord of the Rings took about like 11 uh, months, like a year to film, man. It was long, man. That's grueling. A year is a long time. That's blood, sweat, and tears. Filming for one year, like every day, seven days a week. Yeah, that's why I'll give the actors. Every Fridays, I'll, I'll have, I'll only film for a good, like, Seven, eight hours on Fridays. Every Friday is beer day. The actors film for like seven, eight hours and I give them a break. That way they're not stressed out. So for, so you work all day for six days and Fridays you work for like half a day. You only, you only work. Hey, Peter, to give you a break on Fridays is beer day. The actors film from like morning to like, I don't know, seven in the, six, six in the, six in the, in the, in the, in the, in the what? Six, seven in the, in the, in the evening and then they get the rest of the day off. They get more sleep. And then after after filming is over, after you give all the crew and actors their three beers, give them a good experience. Obviously, not don't get them drunk, no, but you give them a nice three beers. That way, that way, you, that way they appreciate you more. They're not stressed out because if you have them film all day, seven days a week for a year, that's very stressing. They'll be working seven days a week, but like I'll give them time off, uh, more time off on Fridays, and that's when they get their three beers. And the crewmen get their three beers. Peter gets his three beers. So that way you give Peter and all your actors and me, myself, my wife a break, obviously. You're looking at grueling blood, sweat, and tears, man. And that's why after saying this, I'm never filming that kind of movie ever again. I'm never, I'm going to tell, I'm, I'm a, like, never again am I going to film uh, a, what, a sword, a sword fantasy medieval kind of movie ever again. No, everything else, I'm sticking to modern time stuff. With All, all my movies after saying are all going to take a good three, four months to film. They won't take long. Four months. <laughs> Four months is nothing. Four months is not that bad. It's still grueling work. It's not that bad. Whereas one year is blood, sweat, and tears, man. Hence why you pay your actors a lot of money. Pay your lawyer, pay your pay your Zane's actors a lot of money. Pay Peter a lot of money because he's going to be doing blood, sweat, and tears, Peter. Because I'm paying him his sixty-five million bucks. This is more than what he makes in Hollywood. He'll work really hard. He's getting his nice on a one point seven, one point eight dollar check every two weeks. It's a fat check in the bank. He'll work hard, Peter. But you're going to see him stressed out. You're, you're going to see him, yeah, we just finished filming Volume 1. We're moving on to Volume 3. You know what I mean? Yeah. Moving on into Volume 3, yeah. You're going to see Peter all stressed out, you know what I'm saying? I remember I saw him in Lord of the Rings. He was stressed out. I was like, yeah. We just finished filming Fellowship of the Ring. And now we're finished. Now we're filming. And now we're filming what? Now we're filming, uh... And now we're filming what? Now we're filming, uh, Volume, uh, uh Two Towers. You tell how stressed out he was. Yeah. He only made about 10 million bucks for Lord of the Rings. I am paying him way more than what he made for Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. For The Hobbit, he probably made like 20, 25 million base, Peter, for the, for the for, 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 for production, for, for the entire project. I'm paying him 65 million bucks. 
This is for production alone. This doesn't include his 10 mil bonus. He already got his 10 mil bonus, millions in his bank. He's also going to get a 10 mil bonus after filming is completed. And so he'll be motivated to work hard, Peter. I'm saying he'll work really hard. Harder than what he even did for Lord of the Rings. You'll see him struggling with the work a little bit because he's 30 years older now. He's almost 70. He's like 67. Whereas Lord of the Rings, he was like 38, 39, 40 back then. But, but 68, you're still fine. That's why I'm going to tell Peter, Peter, man, I recommend you and Guatemala Toro, when you're in your hotel, when you're staying in your hotel the first year, and the second year and third year, it doesn't hurt to what to exercise, man. Go to the gym, take a nice 20, 30, 20 minute jog. Go on the bike, take a nice 20 minute, go on, go work out. You don't have to do weights, but like do some cardio, that way you're in shape. Especially you, Guatemala Toro, you're a big dude. I have no fine. I direct you guys. I recommend you work out a little bit, man. That way you're in shape. And the second year, when you when I send you home for a couple months, you can go biking with your kids, with your wife, with friend. Like do do some exercise. That way you're in shape. As you're looking at like, a, like Peter, you're not getting any younger, man. I have no fine. I'm like Peter, you're not as young as you used to be in Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings, you were only forty back then. You were you were young. You were young, dude. You're not young anymore. Don't hate me. You're what? You're pushing seventy now. I recommend you work out a little bit. That way you're in shape. Okay, okay. I, you don't have to work out, but I recommend you work out. I recommend you work out. I can have the, I can have the nutritionist and trainer give you guys a diet plan if you want to. If you want. you guys, I'm like, guys, you guys want my trainer to give you a training plan for cardio? Yeah, sure, Ivan. Yeah, yeah. That way you guys can work out and you're in shape. Because you're, you're going to be filming for one year, man, in the, in the wilderness, man, in Switzerland. A lot of work. Here's the Ivan. I filmed Lord of the Rings in the Hobbit. I know what it's like to film for a long time. It's, uh, I'm, I'm fine. I'm like, okay, Peter. I'm just saying, if you're tired, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? And, and you treat, there's nothing worse than filming all day and you're very tired, man. You see what I'm saying? Ivan, no, he'll be fine. Though. 67, 68, you're still fine. He'll be fine, Peter. Grandma Toro's a young dude. He's only like, I don't know, like about 50 years old. Grandma Toro was young. He'll be about 60 years old all, all the time. Him and, and Peter will be fine, obviously. Be fine, obviously. So Zayas, I'll make for nine eighty-five million dollars, or I might make it for a billion. I might put a, a flat billion towards it. Nine eighty-five to a billion dollars, I'm gonna make. I'm not gonna make it for any more. That's enough money. Nine eighty-five million to a billion dollars, I'm gonna make it for uh, Zayas, which will be the most expensive movie ever made. It'll blow the technology of Avatar. Avatar was made for about two thirty-seven million dollars. I heard. But with marketing costs, it was made for about three fifty million dollars. For Avatar, they probably put sixty seventy million dollars towards the world of Pandora, and you got to work that. I am putting four hundred, four hundred to even four thirty five, four forty million dollars towards special effects. I told you the leftover money from all the sessions, I'm gonna put that towards special effects, obviously, and guaranteed I will have leftover money, and I'm gonna pour all the rest of it towards special effects. Yes, look at an amazing world, better than Pandora. Better than Pandora, better than, 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 than what? Better than Pandora, better than what? Better than Pandora. Better than, I can talk for 30 minutes, guys. And after this, I'm going to I'm gonna take my shower and I'm going to go to the store and get my smokes. And I'll continue the video. You guys won't see the difference because you only hear what's recorded, right? Yeah. I'll take my shower, go to the store and get my pack of smokes. At the store. Yeah, man. $985 million. $985 million is enough. It's more than enough money. I don't need any more money, man. Because I, I, I'm guaranteed going to have leftover money in the budget. Probably a good $40 million leftover in the budget. My budget is so big. The rest of that, I'm going to pour. If I have about $35, $40 million leftover in the budget, I'll pour a good $30, like $5 million around there towards $30, $33 million towards Special X. Added to the four hundred million dollar budget towards special effects, and the rest of the money I have to save. If I go touring for the red carpet, if I go touring, I need I need I need to save some money that way I can pay for the act for my flights, my gas, the limo services, the luxury hotel suite stays for the actors. You know what I'm saying the buffet, pay for all that obviously, and I also have to for the red carpet event in Switzerland at the at the luxury hotel, you have to fly all your actors and crewmen privately to Switzerland. Obviously, that cost is like. That'll cost probably a couple hundred grand, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred dollars. Expensive. Rent a good ten planes that fit a good one for the people to fly all your actors and your stars to, 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 to Switzerland for the party. 
for the red carpet event. Yeah, you have to you have to pay for them. You can't have the actors come and pay for that. You have to cover their their costs, obviously. Because they work for you, everything to do with the business, you have to cover for the actors. Don't don't have your actors and starting crewmen pay. No, the crewmen can't afford that. It's a big cut in the budget. You have to pay for them, obviously. Is there? The nine eighty five in our budget. The nine eighty five in our budget will be used to what? The nine eighty five million in our budget will be used to what? Will be used to uh the nine eighty five the nine eighty five million dollar budget will be used to uh to what? To pay all my cast and my crew their salaries and fund the entire movie project. You guys already know what I need to fund. I mentioned this, I don't feel like mentioning it. I mentioned it many times in my in my past videos, obviously. Some Zara. It'll be used to fund the uh, the project, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. If you want to pay your actors a rich sal a rich contract, you need to have a big budget. So I can easily be cheap and have like a system in our budget towards salaries, but if I do that, I will not be able to afford to pay the actors a lot of money. I'll be paying all like the biggest actors are a shitty paycheck. Like they're 500, 600, 700 K items. And if you do that, the actors don't work as hard. I can easily be cheap and pay Avon Joje like 500 grand, 450, pay Neil Manette like 600K, 400K. Pay, um, um, you know what I'm saying, Carl Urban 750K, pay, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 John Boyega like a million, million five. If you do that, they're not going to work as hard. They'll work hard for me, obviously, but they're not going to work as hard. And they're going to be, they're going to be like, yeah, Ivan's company is not as good as Hollywood. Hollywood pays more than Ivan's company. Yeah, man, if you want your company to be better than Hollywood, you got to pay them back as more money than what Hollywood pays on average. So I'm saying, huh? You have to pay them more money than what Hollywood pays on average. If you want what? If you want what? I think the pizza's here. Yeah, if you want them to work hard for you, obviously. Some Zara? If you want them to work hard for you, obviously. Because guaranteed Peter might tell me, he's like, He's Ivan, like, if you pay a volunteer 500 grand, that's a lot of money to work hard for Mike Peter. He won't work as hard, man. He's only going to walk away with, I don't know, like, 200, like, 50, 60,000 in his bank account. Ivan, that's a good paycheck. You know what I'm saying? That can last. What? Sorry about that. Someone needed the charger. Yeah, so I'll talk for a good like seven, eight, nine minutes here. And then I'm going to shut this cam off. And I'll what? And I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take my shower and I'll go to the store and get my beer and smokes. And I'll continue the video. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guaranteed Peter will tell me, Ivan, like, you can easy, Ivan, you don't have to pay your cast this kind of money. Because Peter will guarantee to ask me, he's like, Ivan, what's your budget towards salaries? He's going to ask me, I'm like, yeah, Peter, you want to know? Yeah, I'm like, four ten million million. like, four ten million dollars Ivan, this is madness. This is local. You're fucking crazy, man. Like, Peter, it's not a big deal. I have the keys. I'm yeah, Ivan, you have the keys. For you, you can easily afford to have a massive, hundred, big budget like that. Because I'm going to make my money tenfold. Yeah, I'm going to make my money back tenfold, man. I'm going to make my tens of billions back. Because I have the keys, obviously. It's a good investment, obviously. I know what I'm doing, Peter. If you have a big budget like this, I can now afford to pay all my stars a rich, a rich salary. Yeah! Yeah! Someone's calling me. I think it's for the pizza. Yeah. 
easy paying the rich, the rich what? The rich uh, 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 paycheck, obviously. And the crew, and I can pay all the crew in the rich $150,000, which is a good paycheck. Most average people aren't willing to make that. They make like 50, 60. They make like 50, 60,000 dollars. Yeah. Yeah, most people around the world don't even make one hundred thousand dollars. Most people make like fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year. Some say, or hence what? I told you, if I end up needing more crewmen, like two thousand crewmen, I'll cut their paycheck in half to seventy-five k, which is still a pretty good paycheck, obviously. So if I'll tell Peter, Peter, if I end up needing like two thousand, two thousand, like two hundred crewmen or something like that. I'm going to have to cut their page again after 75k. All right, that's good enough. Yeah, I can pay them. I can pay them like, I can pay them what? 25k the fourth year and a nice $50,000 paycheck the, 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 the third year. That's still a pretty good paycheck. 75k is pretty good, but it's not rich, right? It's pretty good, obviously. 75k is a good paycheck, but it's not great. You know what I'm saying? 150k is a rich paycheck. That's a nice paycheck, obviously, for two years of work. So for two years of work, you get your one hundred thousand dollars salary. I'll, I can pay your one hundred k the third year. The third year they'll be doing the most work because they're going to be prepping everything in Switzerland. Pay them one hundred k for that year, and the fourth year you pay them a nice fifty thousand dollars. It's a good page for them, and they get their two thousand dollars gift. That's my deal for them. But fifty hundred people should, should be enough. People are like, oh, we can make it work for fifty hundred people. Yeah, we can make it work. Just have the crew and start working on some of the stuff the the, the second year. We really give them more time to build the sets, to create the costumes, to create the mask. All that stuff. There. So Peter I'm going to sign him to an $85 million deal for his base salary. This is more than what he makes in Hollywood. He probably makes on average $20, 25000000 million base in Hollywood. So I gave Peter a good deal. $85 million for his base salary for the four years of work of Zanus. That's a good picture for him. He gets his $10 million signing bonus for the three years of pre-production. I can either split his, his bonus in half, divide it over the three years, or I can just pay him his flat $10 million. He gets his $10 million bucks in his bank. Which is like thirteen point five million in his own money. He's gonna walk away with almost seven million in his bank after taxes. Seven million in your bank for three years of work is a lot of money for Peter. Is that's how much he made for the entire part of the Lord of the Rings for his base as a whole? I'm paying him that for pre-production. Three years of pre-production. That's a good deal, Ivan. Ten million for pre-production is a good deal, Ivan. Yeah, you don't even make his knowledge, Peter. And I'll pay your sixty-five million for the four years for for the fourth year for the fourth year of production, for the one year. One year of work. Seems like for one year of work, $65 million. I will pay him, obviously. That's a good deal for him. $65 million, I'll pay him, obviously. $65 million, I'll pay him. And I'll pay him a 10 mil post wing bonus. And I'll take him and his, his immediate family. So when I mean immediate family, him, Fran, and his like kids... Obviously, and his, him, Fran, and their kids, and like their kids, I can take them because by then Peter will have grandkids guaranteed. You can take them on 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 on, on a two week vacation with my seven team and Guatemala tour and his family. Only your immediate family, Peter. So only only your wife and your kids, and that's it. You can't like your aunt, your aunt, uncle, and all those guys. You can't bring those guys. You know what I'm saying? Only your immediate family. So your wife and your kids, and that's it, and their kids. You can bring them with you. Your grandkids. And when Tor, you can bring his family, and my seventeen can bring their family, and you take them on a two two week vacation. And a nice resort, I'll pay for it through the budget. It cost me a good amount, a million bucks to rent for two weeks, cheap. I can easily afford it. A top notch resort around the world, rent rented for him, Peter, and all the guys. A big resort booked for them all, all to themselves with a, with a pool, with a steaming pool. You know those like resorts, those beautiful resorts. Yeah, you book a resort for Peter and all them. That's been for Peter. And I'll give him 0.6% of the profits or $450 million of the profits. So Peter signed a $500 million deal in Canadian money, which is like $525, $530 million in his own money. So he signed a, a massive deal. This is more than double what he made for the rings. It's a good deal for Peter. And Mel Gibson, I'll sign him to a one like $75 million deal for the profits, for the royalties, obviously. And I'll give him a $56 million salary, base salary. So 10 more bonus from Mel Gibson. $40 million base, 
It's a good deal for him. He doesn't make that Hollywood. I'll give him a six mil pulse wing bonus. It's a good deal for, for Mel Gibson. Or I give him 0.4% on the, on the profits. The Sky of Source film profits. I'm saying, huh? Do not sign Peter or Mel Gibson to a gross sales deal. Because Peter might try and do me. Oh, Ivan, what about a gross sales deal? I'm like, no. If I give you 0.6% of the gross sales, Peter, you're going to make something crazy like a billion, three dollars, something crazy. Yeah, you're ripping me off. I'm not going to pay you that. If you give Peter 0.6% of the gross sales, he's going to make like, oh, like his billions, man. Like a billion, five, something crazy. No, he's not. Don't, don't do that. And you're going to be affecting Amazon's money, too. Yeah, Amazon will be like, hey, man, if you want, Amazon will tell me, I right, if you want to pay your, your, your directors and actors a piece of royalties, you have to take it out of your share. We're not giving them shit. Yeah, I'm not giving them shit, obviously. They're not giving, they're not going to give the actors shit. Amazon wants to hold 20% of the greed. They're greedy sharks, obviously. So I'm saying, that's why you got to be careful. Is tell Peter he gets, he gets 0.6% of the Sky of Source Film Profits or $450 million of the Sky of Source Film Profits. Make sure you say Sky of Source Film Profits. That way, you, he's not confused. If you say just profits, he might he might think the the the, the 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 whole profit, including Amazon's pie. No, only the what? Only 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 four fifty million dollars of me and VJ's the profits that me and VJ's make. Peter makes obviously. But I told you because Peter's greedy, he's gonna try and ask for money. I'm like Peter, I'm not gonna give you a seven hundred eight hundred bill. You rip me off. I'm not gonna give you that. You're being greedy. Stop it. You're taking more than like you're taking like one point two one point three percent. You're taking the whole one percent. If I pay you that, man. Why even raise your deal with Amazon then? I'm saying Peter might tell me that. You know, I'm saying, Ivan, what is your deal with Amazon? I'm like, Peter, it's none of your business. Ivan, raise your amount with Amazon then. His, his agent might tell me that. Like, do 80 20, you know what I'm saying? That way you give like 0.3% of the, of the pie to me. I'm like, Peter, I, even, even if I took 80% of the pie, I wouldn't give you $800. You're not worth it. You're worth your 100, 200, 300, 400 million of the pie. But the moment, anything over that period, you're now ripping me off and you're pushing it, man. As this is the biggest contract error for a director, pretty much. All these directors in Hollywood don't make this kind of money, Peter. You're, like, your, your base that I'm paying you is more than what all these directors make in Hollywood. And the royalty amount you're making is more than what all these guys in Hollywood make. All these directors in Hollywood make. It's more than what 99.9% what, .9 of all the celebrities are worth. It's a massive contract. You're just greedy. You're thinking about the bigger picture. Stop thinking about the amount of money you're going to make. I just know that I gave you a good deal. If you think about the amount of money you're going to make... You can what? If you think about the amount of money you're going to make, you can get what? You can get what? You can get what? You can get Emmys, obviously. Yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm going to take my shower. I'm going to go to the store and get my pack of smokes. I will be back in a, in a good, I don't know, 40 minutes from now, 45 minutes from now, whatever. But you guys will not see the difference because it's, you only hear what you record, right? Don't hate me, guys. I'm going to be back. I'll show my camera here.